So we've finished creating our eyebrow ring. I've added a character into my scene. Next thing we're going to do is scale and position our eyebrow ring. We're going to be using the universal tool. We can grab one of these arrows to move in one certain direction, or we can grab one of the corners to move in two directions. I'm going to scale this down by grabbing this square in the middle. Let's frame in on this. And if we hover near the middle of the universal tool, we get this free rotate tool. So I'm going to rotate it where I want it, scale it down a little bit more. And once we have rotation applied to our object, sometimes it can get a little bit hard to get it exactly where you want it to go. So I'm going to come into my tool settings and with the universal tool, I'm going to switch to use world coordinates. And that's going to use our scene X, Y, and Z. So that way we can more easily move this into place. I'm going to switch back to object coordinates to rotate this like that. And I'm going to go in and grab this sphere, rotate it down just a little bit like that. That looks pretty good. So the next thing we want to do is take this eyebrow ring and parent it to the head. So let's just go ahead and select the head. And we're going to take this, we're just going to drag and drop it right onto the head. Now if we move our character around, that eyebrow ring will stay in place. However, if we were to go into posing and dial up an expression, you can see that that eyebrow ring is not following the eyebrow like we want it to. So the last thing we're going to do is select our base character. We're going to come into tool settings and get our geometry editor. Let's switch to our wireframe and I'm going to select the geometry where the eyebrow ring is going through and make sure that your selection mode is drag selection. With that selected, let's right click, come down to geometry assignment. And we're going to create a rigid follow node from selected. And I'm just going to name this follow. And then I'm going to take my eyebrow ring and just drag it and drop it onto our rigid follow node. Now, when we go back in and dial up our morph, you can see it is following the eyebrow. And you can hide the follow node if you want. And just to make sure that we're not going to run into any problems in the future, let's grab this follow node and parent it to the head. In our last tutorial, we're going to be saving this eyebrow ring out so that it can be applied to different characters.